Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another COTC video. In today's video, we are going to be covering Herminia, who is the newest character coming to the game as part of the trio of the villains from the Master of Power, Wealth, and Fame storylines way back in the beginning of the game. So if you're curious to know more about Herminia and her kit, then keep on watching and let's get into it. All right, so who is Herminia? She is a hunter who has the light element and she was the featured villain in the Master of Wealth storyline. And her roles in this game are that she is a bow, fan, and light damager. And she is a debuffer, buffer, and an excellent breaker. And so for her stats, average across the board, but she does have a high attack stat compared to other dancers, a lower elemental attack, and a much higher crit stat. And uh, the, that crit stat is going to be very important with her high damage nukes, which we'll cover with her notable skills. So she has a one hit AoE fan attack that has a chance to inflict bleed with 150 potency. She has an AoE 15% defense and element defense buff, a four hit single target bow attack, a four hit random target light attack, and a four hit random target fan attack. So overall, an excellent shield breaker with bow, light, and fan. She's also able to grant herself a buff that will use an AoE bow attack at the start of each turn with a chance to inflict bleed and 180 potency. So this is just like that merchant, um, I think her name is Wooludai, who does that uh, spear attack at the start of each turn, but uh, with um, Herminia it's you know the bow. She has a one hit single target nuke fan attack that is 260 potency with a 20% potency increase if the target has the bleeding debuff and it also restores 1% of her SP of the total damage dealt and she has a one hit single target nuke bow attack that has a, a 260 potency with a 20% potency increase if the target has a bleeding debuff as well and it restores 10% of her HP of uh, the total damage dealt. So. Overall, an excellent shield breaker, and she's got nukes to back it up. I think defensive buffs always come in handy. Um, so we, we already know that we have Zanta and we have Ophelia who can do chip away at the bow and light shield points. And Tithi can also chip away at a fan. But so for Herminia, she could just has all that in one. Um, and with the bleeding debuff and her potency increases in her already high attack stat, she is an excellent damage dealer to bring to your party with um, a niche area with fan being able to deal some high potency attacks with that. And I think that's something that we currently do not have in the game. So she's able to bring that kind of like August is able to bring that nuke tome damage that we don't have. She can bring that with the fan and um, all the other you know chips and nukes to, to back up her kit too. So for her ultimate technique, it is a one hit single target bow attack with 600 potency at level 10 and a 20% potency increase if the target has bleeding uh, for a total of 720 potency. So another very good nuke attack. And her passives, so she has a 30% chance for butler to appear after her turn to inflict bleeding to random target and a 20% bow and fan damage up as well. So very similar to August, just with different weapons. and. Um, with Herminia and August, they both have the potential to deal out a lot of physical damage. So either of these two being able to pull them uh, can fill in some gaps that you may have or can totally replace another character in general for damage. And they're both excellent choices uh, to have. And for her A4 accessory, the stats on the accessory is an additional 60% attack, 40 crit and 400 HP. And the buff is a 10% bow and fan damage up and a chance to inflict bleeding on all enemies at the start of the battle. Overall, I think it's a fine accessory, but I don't think it's it's absolutely not anything to chase. It's very standard and it's going to be limited to bow and fan damage users unless you want some extra attack and crit and HP on a, you know another traveler. But I think this is a pretty uh, mid accessory. Um, and again, I don't think it's anything that you need to break your ruby bank over. Um, there's much better ones out there and unless Herminia is your favorite and you're gonna A4 her and you know completely max her out um, Then this will uh, complement her skills uh, a lot, but for anybody else. I, I don't think it's worth it All right, so for her pros. She's a powerful nuker solid shield breaker She's got AoE defensive buffs and the unique and strong the start of each turn AoE bow attack um, and her cons, not a big deal, but she is reliant on that bleeding debuff for optimal damage. So if a boss is immune to it, then she's just going to be limited to her uh, potencies uh, at, that are uh, default, which are already extremely high. So 
if the boss is immune to bleeding, she's still going to do a ton of damage, um, so nothing to really trip over. Um, and so am I going to pull? So the, the triple banner is going to be, all three villains are going to be on one. So if I do end up pulling her, I will build her. Um, only if I were to get her to A1, I typically don't build characters until they um, I, I can awaken them to at least level 1. Um, I have Zanta for bow damage and I have Ophelia for light damage, but I could use a, a strong fan damage user um, for those you know niche areas, um, you know arena or veterans, etc. Uh, be able to bring her for. She is an overall a really good character. A lot of people say she's the best one. I still personally believe it's a Gus, um, but Arminia is a very good character. Uh, and and um, you know to have uh, there in, in terms of longevity, I think she gets outclassed in general. Most I mean most characters in the game get out outclassed um, because power creep you know is the same with most games, but. I think um, you know if she's your favorite. She's going to provide a ton of value if you you know are going for Tidos uh, and you end up pulling her. I would definitely recommend building her. Um, now, is she the best bow damage person in the game? Absolutely not. I think it's Zanta, and it, in, in my opinion, always will be Zanta for a very long time. Um, and is she the best light damage user? No. There's you know um, Ophelia. I think Ophelia because of Ophelia's uh, support. I, you know, I think, you know, she can provide that light damage um, and chipping away at the shield points. But I think what makes Herminia as great as she is, is the fact that she has a ton of versatility. She has three different damage type coverage. She's got the attack that can, with the 180 potency AoE bow attack at the start of a turn. So strategically, she provides a lot of value. She can buff defenses. So she, she's a unique character, but overall, I don't think she's like the best at anything that she does. Maybe the fan damage, um, but yeah, so uh, she's not who I'm specifically going after. If I pull her, it will just be a bonus, which I'm sure I end up will pulling her with, with my plans for dropping six that or doing all the laps on the paid banner, um, but I'm, I would much rather prefer Zanta on my team. I just think that he's unmatched, and personally, I don't really care what anybody says. I I, I think he's unmatched, and uh, if if people are bringing Herminia, I don't think it's just because of her bow damage, and I think it's just because of her as a whole. Um, but nonetheless, a a very solid character. Um, so I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Are you going after Herminia, or are you going after August, or maybe there's a few people going after Tidos, or are you going after all three? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on what your poll plans are. So excited that the one year anniversary at the time of this video is tomorrow. I know a lot of people were very hyped from the stream. That Tavern Talk I think was the best one they've ever done. I'm normally very unimpressed and I, I, I feel like the pacing is, is it, it could be better, you know, what, not to dog in them, but you know, they're learning. Um, but that was a very good stream, very hyped. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, that really helps out my channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.